Hey, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, then welcome. My name is Maddie, and today I'll be reacting to episode 7 of Fruits Basket. Oh, this episode! This episode is going to be emotional. I know it, because we are getting into Hot Tree's backstory. Ugh, I'm excited for this episode because I love Hattori, but I am expecting some tears. So if I cry, I'm sorry. I, I, I get, I'm an emotional reader and watcher. I feel the emotions when things get sad or heartbreaking or happy sometimes too. So this is probably going to be one of those moments. What I'm really excited for is people who haven't watched the series. This is their first time watching um, the anime getting to know Hattori because in the last episode he seemed to be kind of cruel but he's not really. Once you get to know him like he is a really really good guy and he is one of my favorite characters. He's super caring and kind and it's like one of the father figures of the family. He watches out for all the teenagers, wants them to be okay. He's just such a great guy so with that said let's just get right into it now. I love how anxious he gets when Toro is gone. It's so cute. <laughs> That's what I just said. <laughs> Momichi. I just love him so much. <laughs> They made the Soma estate look so big in this anime. I love it. In the last one, it looked kind of smaller. Because it's supposed to be really big. Oh, they have the lyrics, the English lyrics to the song. Why are they only doing this now? Someone did a cover, an English translated cover to this song. I forget who it's, but who did it? But it's on YouTube, so I have like listened to the um, English version of it, and oh my gosh, the lyrics—it fits the show so perfectly. It's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Hmph. <laughs> 
babysitting. <laughs> Say what you will, but I love Momiju's accent. Everyone seems to hate it. I love it. For the dub, because I'm watching the dub. Gosh, it's like its own town. Cause he's scheming. Yep. No matter what Akito does, they can't be mad at him. And it's it's bizarre, but that's just how their bond works. It's so weird. Toru has such a soft heart. She's the sweetest. Oh. Who would it? <laughs> what is Shigeru doing there? <laughs> no. Checked on the New Year's preparations. He's so full of himself.
I thought he meant he was gonna take away her memories. <laughs> Why did he trick her like that? <laughs> you shouldn't be embarrassed about it. <laughs> so that means goodbye, I bet. <laughs> Nah, he secretly loves him. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. It's a seahorse. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not ready for this. Not ready for the feels. Spring. Same reaction as Toru.
Oh my god, Akita or Akito's voice is like, oh my gosh, it's chilling. So good. Literally one of the most selfish things you could do is make someone leave the person they love so that they can keep your bond with you. It's, ugh. Akito was just so, so evil at first. Oh man, there's some foreshadowing going on. I'm not ready for Momiji's story. <laughs> Oh, I can't take this. Y'all stop. Stop. I can't take it. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, I forgot to bring my tissues. <laughs> Newcomers were probably expecting a dragon, but no, he's a seahorse. There's a good reason behind that that, like, is explained later. That's very interesting. Oh, <gasps> Mayu! <laughs> oh. 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 He got his his prayer came true. Stop.
And she says spring. She doesn't even know how much that means to him. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm an emotional wreck. I knew I would be. <laughs> oh, she wanted to know. <laughs> She's so bad. Oh. <laughs> Can't stop. My nose from running. <laughs> oh. We finally get to see Akito's face. Finally. For like a brief second. <laughs> Wait. Who was in the car with him? If that was Corinno, I'm going to flip out. I have to go back and see that. It might have been. Because Corinno is always with Akito. Okay. I'm going to go back and look after this episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's so much she still doesn't know. Oh. Damn. Oh. Y'all, look at my... Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. Like, I am crying so much that my mascara just, like, ran down my face. Oh my god. And I still have more videos to film today. I have to, like, fix this up. <laughs> I, like, I expected to cry, but, like, not that much. Like, I got really teary, and then it just kind of, like down but man I knew that episode was going to kill me and that's not even the saddest episode it gets so much sadder I don't know how I'm gonna hold it together during Momiji's episode where he explains what happened to him it's just oh that was heartbreaking and I like how it goes to show like how they can't um have relationships with uh people are outsiders like they can but, like, they can't really get married because Akito won't let them. It just sucks. And like I said, it's really strange how they can't defy Akito at all. But that's has to do with the curse. Because, oh wait, I, okay, I almost spoiled something. Um, for reasons, because he is the head of the family, they can't um, defy him at all. It, and it's because of the bond that they have with him so yeah it sucks it's like they if they even want to like there's a part of them that feels like the need like they have to forgive him for everything so it's like they don't have a mind of their own there's no freedom I can't even imagine a life like that and I can only imagine it has to be hard to like lose the person you love when you love someone that much and then you have no choice but to let them go is awful. But how Hattori handles the situation is like really admirable because after it happens, he just wishes for her to be happy. And that is it. And they didn't include this in the original anime of him overhearing that Kana is getting married. And the fact that they added that in, in his reaction, he just looks so happy. Oh my gosh, yes. He's such a great guy. Uh, I love how they showcased how awesome he is. Like, he's not evil at all. His only intentions for calling Toru over and telling her, you need to leave this family, is because he cares for her. And he's 
been through it. He knows what it's like to see someone get involved in this family and then be completely destroyed by it because of how much baggage this family has. He was only protecting Toru because of that. So that was his intentions all along. And I love that. I love that he cares for her and doesn't want her to get hurt. But she is staying with the family anyway. She's like, no, I'm not going anywhere. Um, but yeah, she'll discover more dark things about this family as the series goes on. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing that because she goes through a lot of character development while she's learning these things. Like I said, I need to go back and see who was in the car with Akito. I just, I'm so curious to see if it was Corino because he doesn't show up until way later on in this series. So <laughs> I'm just curious. I'm just going to see. It's probably going to be like a brief moment because that car went by really fast. But let's, let me just see. Where is it at? Okay, it's right here. I don't even know if you'll be able to really see because it's kind of silhouetted. That, oh my god. Wait, I gotta, wait. Wait. That looks like Kareno. That looks like him so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it looks like, I don't know for sure if that was him, but it looks so much like, oh my god. I was not suspecting that. Oh, I'm gonna like post this on because I, I I do have a Fruits Basket fan account on Instagram. I'll like link it down below in case you want to check it out. But I'm gonna post it on there and see if anyone else thinks that's Corino. If you have seen this series or if you know of this series, let me know if that looks like him to you. It really looks like it to me. It, am I just fooling myself because I want it to be him? Is that why? I'm believing that it's him. I don't know, but that looked a lot like him. And Corino is always with Akito. Always. Like, they are never without each other. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if that's so, then that is awesome. All right. <laughs> so that's that. Okay, I'll be back next week with episode eight. Um, next week, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the New Year's episode, which that's a great episode. So I... I'm really excited for that one. Um, I was also looking back at the chapter of the New Year's episode because I was remembering that Haru does show up in the New Year's part of the manga. So we might be seeing Haru next week if it's the New Year's episode. Wait, what is the title of the next episode? I'm like trying to wrap this up and then I keep talking. <laughs> Let me just see really quick because the title will probably give it away. See you when you get back. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. If it's a, yeah, that's for sure the New Year's episode. Yes. I'm excited for that one. That's a great one. So yeah, Haru might show up during that episode. So that would be awesome because I'm really excited to see Haru. Now I'm going to go. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for more bookish related videos and anime videos. And I'll be back really soon. Bye.